everyone welcome to programming knowledge so i again welcome you all to programming knowledge so guys this is the 17th tutorial of our django series so one thing i would like to mention here here that uh, like this this is a github link and we were we are, uh, this is the repository we are used to work like we used to learn new concepts but from this uh, from now on we're going to work with on this repository that is django projects uh, like uh, on the, uh, like in this repository django projects we are going to start building some projects initially this repository is empty but as soon as we start making projects i'll commit the changes okay so guys right, this is uh, the link okay uh, i'll commit the changes as soon as you build projects and i'll update the file as well uh, a readme file so you can uh, instructions i'll define the instructions how you can run the project on your local machine as well okay so let's get started with this so basically today we are going to start with the calculator app of our django so we are going to wait, uh, make a calculator app so the very uh, i'll go to my repository so i'm inside my repository so i'll click on new terminal so what do you need to do so the very first command we are going to type is django admin start project django projects so in the end you define the, your project's name so i've defined the django project as my projects so here you can see the django project folder has been created so i'll move inside my django projects okay fine so i'll have a manage.py file inside this okay yeah this is absolutely fine so I'll uh, I'll do uh, okay. One thing we can do. Uh, what I can do do it. I'll type Python manage dot py. Okay, run server. I'll do first run server. So this should start the server on my local machine. Yes, the server has started. So I'll type local host colon local. Okay, so sorry for the mistake. So local host colon eight thousand. Okay, yeah. Here you can see the the server has started. Local host colon eight thousand. Uh, uh, or you can move to this as well. One twenty seven point zero point zero point one colon eight thousand. Okay. So yeah. Now I type Python manage dot py start app calculator calculator app later app. Okay. I hope I'm correct with the spelling yes calculator app okay so uh, the calculator app is created okay so uh, what you can do okay django projects here you can see that our app is at, is at the same uh, directory level with the manager.py file okay now uh, one thing you can do i'll create a virtual environment here so uh, you need to uh, you uh, might have to install a virtual environment package as well yeah, uh, so i'll type virtual env my env so this would create an uh, environment variable uh, uh, inside the project so yes the i hope the environment variable has been created okay uh, 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 for this virtual env i would uh, uh, in case it throws an error so you might have to install a virtual environment package using pip i guess it's pip install virtual env it's simpler or maybe uh, uh, i'll update this in next video okay if it throws an error okay so you can even check out on or uh, check out on the uh, documentation as well okay so i have created a virtual env so uh, uh what i need to do so so now uh, i'll have to activate my virtual environment my env slash scripts slash activate okay you please make sure of of the direction in the slash symbol is defined okay now you can see the virtual env has been activated now i'll type python manage dot py uh uh, oh, sorry. Okay, I'm really sorry for this. Uh, what you need to do uh, now? Uh, I'll if I start my start my server, it won't start. So I need to uh, define. Okay, even I can try this out. Python manage dot start out. Uh, okay, not start app. Uh, sorry, uh, run server. So what you can see, see, it could not import Django because inside my environment, Django is not installed. So I'll just quickly install Django inside my environment variable pip install Django. Okay. So the Django will be installed uh, uh, in the uh, like it would be installed in the environment variable. So by the time it, uh, I'll give you a brief overview. So like uh, basically we are going to define the template directory static files. Uh, 
like now we have created the project we have created the app now we are going to create a requirements.txt file as well so this this will be all about a uh, development environment then uh, like in the upcoming we are going to work with front end front end part then back end part uh, then uh, uh, error handling so basically some new uh, some new design as well to how we can make our uh, app beautiful like uh, in the front end part responsive so we are going to cover them as well okay so let's move to this okay yeah, it's getting installed okay uh, so basically uh, what we we are going to do we are take the input from the user it will help us to uh, it, we will take input from the user then we will uh, like uh, uh, even the, uh, the mathematical inputs can have some error we'll check uh, check uh, errors as like like division by zero error we uh, uh, check some uh, error handling and this at that at level at that level as well okay so yeah now here you can see your uh, environment has been installed and i type pip freeze requirements requirements dot txt okay yeah here you can see the requirement of txt has been created so i'll move to requirements of txt now here you can see like now if you want to do we can also do one thing uh, like uh, you can type control f and you can simply type quick equal equal to uh, I have tried this thing like you can replace with this with greater than equal to sign like this would help you like in if if in any uh, like in any other uh, uh, like in upcoming uh, uh, if there's any another version like 3.0.0 3.0.4 so like 3.0.4 3.0.4 so like in uh, uh, like in any uh, future if you have a new version so this would update to that version because it has a greater than equal to sign so any version greater than equal to 3.0.4 will be updated so you can uh, apply this to your requirements.txt file to get uh, get updated or uh, if it if it might throw error you can revert back to this uh, with the equal equal to sign okay you can uh, simply do greater than equal to then replace with equal to sign okay you can try this out okay so because uh, i have tried this was once okay so now uh, the requirement of txt file has been created now we will move to our uh, settings.py file quickly okay this is the settings.py file okay so one thing you need to define os dot path dot join okay i'll define base directory yeah good and templates okay okay yeah good and uh, i'll define a static url is, is equal to url and you need to find static file directory as os.part.join base directory and static folder i quickly copy this yes good yes so i'll do this uh, i'll move into my django projects okay so what do you need to do so at this level you need to define two folders one is templates good another is static okay so this is good okay and what we are going to do uh, now what you can do we do like we are going to move to our uh, uh, URL.py file okay so you are yeah so this is include path comma include okay and you can define a path to here as calculator app include calculator calculator data okay calculator app dot urls okay so i'll run my server but okay now i'm inside my calculator app so i'll create a new file urls dot py here file here so basically okay i'll do one thing yes new file urls dot py fine absolutely fine and from here what i can do i quickly copy this paste it here good uh, and i'll define url patterns as well 
okay 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 uh, okay i'll define from dot sorry from dot import views so this would bind my urls.pv file to views and i'll give views uh, views dot index name is equal to index yes okay but uh, i have to go to my views.py file as well yes and that's why i'll define def index request okay and i'll define from django dot http import http response uh, at least response yes good and return http response server started okay so this should work now pythonman.py run server I hope there's no error. Yes. Okay, and I'll I move to calculator. Calculator. Yeah, good. Absolutely fine. So we are right now. I have created the development environment. So like, uh, just for the last last few seconds, I was uh, like, while I was doing something, uh, I, I was implementing it. So like, I'll give quick quick overview. Settings dot py file. You're done. So you are done. So uh, what I try to do that uh, uh, like uh, on the calculator app. Okay. So basically, I used to uh, like in the previous tutorial, I, I used to keep it as a blank. But right, right now, I've done this as localhost calculator app because there might be a possibility that we might be creating many apps into this single project. Okay. So like on this calculator app route, uh, like if I go to this route. Like I here you can see calculator app server started, but if I move to this, so this is the okay, 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 uh, slash admin. Okay, we will be discussing about Django admin as well. So I'll um, try to fix this error in the next tutorial. Uh, uh, till then, you can move to cal localhost colon 8000 calculator app. So like here you can see the server has started. So uh, like in this, uh, it included the calculator app dot URLs. And now uh, like in this path, views dot index was called and I return an HTTP response of server started. Okay. So thank you guys. I'll catch up in the next lecture and even I'll try to look at that error as well. So thank you guys.